that is something was brought uh, you know, was in my backyard grows as big as those trees but, oh wow yeah because of winter being so harsh we normally put in a pot and then it covers over winter mm -hmm. but this is the super food that everybody talks about in New England yes yes yeah sure. smell can you take a one and bite and you can, you can definitely make your um, smoothie with it or your kind of bitter right it's got a little bit of bitter but it's nice mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's very um, light and a little bit better, yeah. A, a little bit of, uh, in my mouth, I feel like a little bit of pepper too. I don't mm -hmm. know if you feel the same way. Mm -hmm. But yes, today's uh, cooking is about the moringa, which is going to be just one dish we're going to be making. It is a super, super food. And uh, as I said, we grew up with this, but it's now becoming known worldwide. Mm -hmm. And it's something that's actually, one of the most fantastic things is it helps with eye issues. You know, yeah. you have eye problems. So after the tsunami in Indonesia, part of October, so with this, we'll take you inside and we'll start our cooking process. Uh, I'm excited to start. Greetings and welcome to Cooking Place today. I'm Elena. Thank you for joining me. Thank welcome. you so much for having me. And I know you are doing something totally out of the box for yourself. Yes, I am learning a lot of new stuff today. I we are cooking moringa. <gasps> The very, very popular, now popular, superfood. Superfood, exactly. So as I told you earlier on, this is something that we grew in our backyard. But now it's a little harder to come by because the climate is not that great, but we're finding ways and means of how to plant it and stuff like that. So believe it or not, this is the Moringa seed, which I actually bought to make myself smoothies. Oh, okay. And I decided to put this in the garden. And guess what? We have that big moringa tree that we saw. Yes, it and it grows fun. very fast. Yeah. It, um, and in the winter, we just cover it up. So with that, we're going to get started on cooking the actual greens. So I washed the greens, and it's all now ready to cook. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I do is, well, the ingredients I use was roasted peanuts, some mustard seeds, some black gram or dal, some curry leaves, some dried chilies, garlic, and onion. Yeah. Onion is optional. Like anything in cooking is optional. These are just tools to help you elevate the taste to what you like. Yes, and develop the flavor. And develop the flavor accordingly. So with that, we get started. We first heated the oil. It's very important yeah. to have hot oil. Oh, good. And then, this particular dish, you don't try not to close the pot. Okay, what? We try not to close the pot. We cook gotcha. it to the pot open. Mm -hmm. So we'll get started with the dry chilies. Now that the stove is hot, so we can put the dry mm -hmm. chilies in. We okay. just put uh, one chili in. Mm. Okay, can you see it's sizzling? And that's one? great. Yes, that's good. Mm -hmm. right, you can put it in there. Okay. And then we put a little bit of mustard seed. Mustard seed. I'm going to be, uh, yes, and then I'm putting a little bit of urugala black gram. Okay. Uh, so one, uh, one cardamom fell there, and it's okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we put our curry leaves. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> And I'm going to be adding some chopped up um, garlic. garlic. So three cloves of garlic and rice there. Beautiful. Okay. So then I like having extra onion. Yes, please. Okay. So I'm going to be adding about half of this. This is one large onion. Okay. This is an induction stove, so it just works a little faster. Yeah. This is perfect, right? Beautiful. So this is one large onion. I, like I said, I only use half. Mm -hmm. So it may be, if you um, count it, it's probably like half a cup. Yeah, it's already oh, smells like so cup. good in here. Oh, I'm glad you like the smell. And I um, would add a little bit of mm -hmm. uh, turmeric too. Turmeric? Yes. Don't do what I'm doing, just use a quarter teaspoon. <laughs> <laughs> and today, um, I, I, like I told you, I picked it up from the garden. So I managed to get uh, just two ounces of. Uh, the moringa. I actually um, cleaned it up, removed it from the stalks, mm -hmm. and I uh, measured it out. It was exactly two ounces. Two ounces. Yes, to the two, two ounces of the leaves, I've added three ounces of roasted peanuts. Ah. So what I normally would do is, before we start the process, mm -hmm. I will roast the peanuts for about 10 minutes on a very low flame. Okay. So that uh, the nuts gets nicely roasted and you feel that Nutty feel. Mm -hmm. And just on a pan without any oil. Mm -hmm. On the pan without any oil. Beautiful. But if you feel like you want oil, you're welcome to do it, but I did it without sure. oil. And then I added a um, 
red chili. Mm. Uh, just so I didn't want to do peanut butter. Yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> so yes, and that's what I that, that's what you see out here. Okay. So after or more like when it's ninety percent cooked, then I add the peanuts to it. Gotcha. And the so reason these are already grounded. These are yes. already ground from the roasted and form I ground. So you would roasted it first on the pan and then you grounded it. Yes, that's Beautiful. what I've done. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason I'm using peanuts is um, you know, everybody has different taste buds. Mm -hmm. Some of us are good eating it just like this, like, mm -hmm. you know, just uh, red chilies, mm -hmm. onion, and garlic. Mm -hmm. But I know some of us in my own home that is very, very taste conscious, mm -hmm. more than what the health value is. Gotcha. So this is increasing the health. I did use organic nuts. Okay. And I think it's very important to use organic nuts. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's not easy to get by. Mm -hmm. You might as well use some nuts than use you know, into the morning for that. Sure. And then, yes. And, and the, it also uh, adds a lot of protein to the dish. It adds a lot of protein, but yes. by the way, this also has, you know, the health yeah. benefits to the Moringa is unbelievable. It's through the, and it benefits just about any, um, any ailment you have, mm -hmm. uh, this will help you. Beautiful. Whether it's the eyes, whether it's uh, uh, infertility, Oh, really? Believe it or not, you, you have this like a 40 day time, wow. whether it's a powder form or, you know, I'm, it's like I'm making convictions right now, but these are, it's a, it's a, it's yeah, it definitely a, increases the chances, right? So if you're trying to have a baby, right. why not try it? <laughs> and then if you have gut issues, mm. this also helps to every day. Very good. It is, you know, almost everything, it's such a humble thing, which grows so easily. Mm -hmm. In the olden days, people kind of neglected to eat it because mm -hmm. they thought it's a poor man's food because it's so uh, abundantly available. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but of course now, it's no more than poor man's food. Oh. <laughs> all right, so I can see that the onions is all ready. And so we are now going to, you know, after I washed and rinsed and washed and rinsed, I put it in the colander, you can see it's there. Mm -hmm. It's nice and clean. Mm -hmm. So, and I removed every single one from the stock, if you can see that, right? Yeah, that was a long process. It's then. a long process, but people do it. But worth it. Absolutely. People will put this uh, in a newspaper or some kind of paper. Mm -hmm. I, you saw me, I added on a cloth. Mm. And they leave that for a little while and they leave it to, to stand. And then after they come back, they find that that um, the leaves can fall off a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that's how people find the easier way to uh, to clean this. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Yeah, it's only two ounces, like I told you. Mm -hmm. Very, very little. The two ounces is probably what? Two cups or what is it? No, two ounces would be quarter cup. Quarter cup. But this. Uh, being um, it's more like fluffy, mm -hmm. so possibly half a cup. Uh, mm -hmm. If you, but generally two ounces is equal to pot. Like if you have to have water or any one. Of them, so that's yeah. Yeah. And so you want to just occasionally stir this? Yes, occasionally stir it and add a little bit of salt to taste. A little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. The salt is right there. Um, you could use your fingers. We okay. washed our hands. Yes, we definitely did. Okay, watch, watch how much. Uh, just a little bit, just for taste. And okay. you know what? If you, you you're okay with no salt, there's no need to add salt. Yeah. And we're using Himalayan salt too, yes. which is a, a much better, healthier option to use for sure. Okay. So um, we leave this to cook, and we'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll be right back. Well, thank you. Oh, with your help, of oh, course. Right. <laughs> this is seventy-five percent cooked, right? Or more like uh, ninety percent nice. cooked. Nice and wilted. Nice and looking wilted. Looking beautiful. Smells so wonderful. Flavorful eats. Absolutely flavorful. And you've noticed that the onion is more than the actual uh, yes. vegetable greens. Mm -hmm. It's because, again, people don't like the taste of it, but onions mm -hmm. also add more nutrition. And that's a very big option. Yeah. You well, don't necessarily have to have that. You can take that out altogether from this recipe and just add the peanuts. Because the peanuts mm -hmm. is just going to be, so I now ground that peanuts like mm -hmm. I told you. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's like kind of fine. Not quite mm -hmm. fine, but fine. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to add that to that. So can you imagine what the, how, how elevated that is? No, oh, yeah. Do you want to and that definitely that helps with that, do you want the bitterness, a little bit of that moringa. To right. Kind of, uh, offset but, it a little um, bit. And what I've noticed that this modern moringa is not as when I was growing up as bitter. That's but good. But I noticed the same thing with eggplants. Mm -hmm. I saw whether you noticed that with vegetables. They tend to 
And this is an organic, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I bought organic seeds for my smoothie and that's what I've done. Mm -hmm. yeah. So with the peanuts, did you, did you, uh, you just measure them before you yes. uh, roasted them? Yes. And yes. how many, how much? I, I put two ounces of uh, the um, greens and three ounces of the... Uh, three ounces of the yeah. peanuts. Yeah. And you know, oh, the, that's how it's nice done. and thick now. Very nice. That's and nice. if it's too thick, we can add a little bit of water. Yes, if you want to, but yeah. generally these things are all done very dry. Mm -hmm. It's not a stew. Yes, you kind of want it to be nice texture dry. and kind of have some substance in it. Absolutely. Of course. So I am going to serve you this. this so now I'm giving you a very, very big bowl right here. But okay. <laughs> I'm right. sure you're going to enjoy that. So I'm just going to put a little bit for you. Beautiful. You see, you have my pastel dish here. It's not quite as yeah. plate, but <laughs> making it do for today. That's totally fine. It's just a sample. And then, um, yeah, sometimes uh, we serve this with uh, handmade flattened bread. Mm. So, you know, that's what it normally goes with. But yeah. today, we had this last minute plan, so we didn't have not plan very well. <laughs> okay. But that's okay. That's my we make do with what we have. Absolutely, you make do with what you have. That's right. And uh, you know, you put in a little bit of this on the side. Oh, yeah. All right. So you see, our our vegetable is now cooked, right? Mm hmm And uh, this is your tasting Beautiful. powder. Well, why don't you get one, and I'll get no, a second one. Good. You, you, you taste it, and you let me know how it goes. You have the spoon right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> we always feed our guests first. Okay, well, thank you so much. Thank yeah, you. you tell me how it's to be. It feels, right. it feels like. Mm, smells delicious. That's the most important. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it's so good. Have you ever thought the of The peanuts that? are amazing in this. All right, for those who are allergic to peanuts, mm -hmm. we could use um, mm. split moon dal. Mm. Uh, give me a second. It's really, really good. It's really good. It's nice, nice texture. So it's you, uh, very flavorful. So what are the tastes you tasting? And it has a little kick too. Oh, yes. That's absolutely. the chili pepper. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Very so nice. yes, like I was saying, for those that have allergies to peanuts, don't think that, you know what, I cannot cook this meal. Right. So I would put like two tablespoons of, uh, what do you call this? Moon dal? You call it? Um, Mung beans? No, no, no. Moon dal. Okay, so these are what you would, the green variety is called full mung beans, these are the split mung beans. Ah, okay, so, that's the so same this variety. is actually the same variety of Right, the bean. and the good thing about this is, again, high protein, mm. it helps fight inflammation and all the different things. So in the process, in which I started, I would put, um, I could, one way to do it is soak it, mm -hmm. you can have it soaked in, and as it cooks. Process, cook it first and then add the beans. Mm -hmm. Or the second way I could do it, as I added the black gram, I boiled it up, I could add this one at that time. And then again, cook it a little bit and then add the, the potato. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, not potato, we don't have potato. That's <laughs> another one. You could do potato and moringa. Okay, okay. But in this case, or we call it drumstick leaves because the actual um, little pod that comes out of it, we call that mm -hmm. drumsticks. Ah, okay. So we always call it drumstick leaf tree. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Yes. So yes, you don't have to just do um, peanut. You can do it without peanut with mm -hmm. one dog. Yeah, always Very look simple. for substitutes. If you have some allergies or something like that, you can always substitute and for I something else. And I promise you, it tastes just as good. Oh, absolutely. Right. Well, thank you for joining me in this interesting, this very, very interesting uh, subject today. Moringa? Yeah, moringa. I'm yeah, going to make it. Moringa. Moringa, yes. So it's probably sold for those in the Indian stores or, and I saw it a lot of fresh when I went to. Wonderful. Over summer, you get it really available. And uh, yes, it does wonders for your body. And you know, the good nutrition is what it needs to be. It's presented. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. I love it. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure and a wonderful food. Thank you so much. Yeah.